She's Hello, on. community of YouTube drinkers. Beer drinkers. Well. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Tonight we are looking at we are looking at uh, a beer known as Corona Extra. Introduced in 1925. What do you happen to know about that? Well, it's La Cerveza Más Fina. And what does that mean? The beer is fine. Yeah, the more... A fine more, beer. Yeah. The more fine beer. And it's from Mexico. Now, 4.6... Uh, oh, hello, Tanya. 4.6% alcohol. Uh, so that's in the regular beer range. Um... I have a 24-ounce bottle. Now, we have different people. We have Tanya from California, also from the West. We have Paul from the South. We have myself, Jay. We have uh, Jonathan and Jeff. And from the North, we have John, Eric, and Nate. And we might, have, yo. we might have Brandon joining us from Mississippi. I got to. All right. Go well, Celtic. I can smell it when I pop that cap, boy. Exactly. It's got a, it's got a heavy adjunct -y smell. Okay, no. Now, we're going to talk about that familiar in a little while. Okay. Okay, now this came out in 1925. Like I said, it was not inter introduced into the U.S. Uh, that's okay, Tanya. Uh, we understand. We have, we always have problems with videos going slow or whatever um, when we're doing this. Um. It was introduced into the U.S. in 1981, so it hasn't been in, in our country very long, only 33 years. Uh, it is produced with water, barley malt, corn is the adjunct, and yeast. Mm -hmm. It's owned by Grupo Modelo, which was bought out, completely bought out by Anheuser-Busch InBev in 2013. But there was an antitrust action by the U.S. government. Paul should like this. So... Even though Anheuser-Busch owns it, in the U.S. they're not allowed to own it. So Constellation Brands bought the rights to Anheuser-Busch InBev's Corona line, Grupo Modelo Beers. And so they actually brew those beers at their own brewery in Piedras Negras, Coahuila, Mexico, and they import it. All the, all the uh, Modelo beers are imported from that one brewery. So I don't know what government official Constellation Brands had paid off. Well, let me not say too much. But anyway, uh, you know, we could talk about that. There's something fishy about that. But anyway, it's a convoluted story, but um, it is an Anheuser-Busch InBev brand. And Modelo is like InBev because they started as a small company, and they went around buying up everybody else's companies in Mexico over the years. Actually. Uh, it's also available in cans, and as of 2014, Corona Extra is also now available on draft, but only for the last four or five months. Huh. Well, I don't see much head here, but there's a little lacing. No. I had none. That's my head right there. No. Not that. Hey, I got hey home. Jake. I looked up. What La Cerveza Más Finas actually means, it means the finest beer. Yeah. Well, you know, it doesn't always translate directly. Well, yeah, when you think about it and you read it and think about it, it doesn't make sense. But Paul said you got to love the Clayton and Sherman Acts. Yes. The Sherman yeah. Antitrust Act of 1892 and the Clayton Antitrust Act of 1914. Okay. Very good. Yeah. On you're, right. The you're right, John. It, it doesn't translate. Wait, who said that? That was... Yeah. Okay. That and also... When you go on, they tap into your beer. Um, hey, kid. Web page. Under America, they don't list Corona, but if you go under Mexico, it does. For InBev. Hmm. Right. It's an InBev international website. Right. You gotta go. You gotta go to the InBev website. You can't go to the Anheuser Busch website. In fact, I tried to call Anheuser Busch two days ago. Hello, young man. We have a young man. And uh, uh. They could not give me any information about the beer because the lady on the phone didn't know anything about it. But I did find out about this. Now, sh someone show show us the 
the uh, familiar bottle. I got one right here. Okay, there's a lot of controversy about that. Some people say it's a different beer, and they said, it "Well, I'm not on Beer this Advocate." Bottle says Corona Extra, anyways. Yeah, on Beer Advocate, they're saying that it's a a separate beer, six percent alcohol. But yeah. this is not the case. Beer Advocate is wrong. They have been wrong. I reported it to Beer Advocate a week ago. Oh, oh good. It. It's wrong because if you look on the Grupo Modelo website, the actual website in Mexico, there's a there's like 35 photos of Corona beer, all the different configurations, and and the uh, and this has been the case for years. The familiar is shown as part of Corona, and they even have a bigger bottle, a 1.2 liter bottle that you can buy in Mexico. I've seen those bottles firsthand. That are also brown, and it's called Corona Mega. Mega. Familiar means family size. Yeah, yeah, right, family size. So. Uh, <laughs> Well, let's go into the actual beer itself, everyone. Now, Tanya, what did you get? What did you get when you popped it open and smelled it? I smell. Um, it's definitely skunky you for smell. me. Yeah, skunky. But that skunk for me went right away. Do you still get it? Because mine dissipated. I'm fortunate with the familiar. I get no skunk. So good going brown bottle. Yeah. yeah. Paul. Zero. Yeah, I got a little bit of skunk in this. I have the clear bottle. Did it stay or it dissipated? Mine dissipated. Uh, still a little bit there. Okay. I don't have my, my smell is not the greatest right now, so. Oh yeah, you had a cold. Okay. Uh, let's see. The Brister. What about you? What are you drinking? That's something, that's something similar to what you guys. As soon as I opened it, I got like an immediate hit of like skunk, and after a few seconds, it went away. Now I smell. I think corn. Yeah, I smell a little bit of skunk. Now, I don't smell any. I don't smell nearly as much skunk as I did as soon as I opened it. I don't no, know what yeah. that's. And Jeff, you're coming out of a clear bottle there. Yeah, I got a clear bottle, twelve ounce bottle. Yeah. No one's got a can. Okay, interesting. All right. You don't really see those. I mean, I don't see them much. I'm not. You really get them around here now, John. Jonathan. Yeah, I got a clear twelve ounce bottle. Five I got a twenty-four ounce bottle. Yeah. 24. What are you getting on the aroma, John? Then I'm going to go to uh, John Sharon. Just a, a faint beer smell, no skunking. Okay. Uh, Agreed. I guess, I guess I, I'm getting that same skunky smell that, that everybody else has got, but it seems like in, in my glasses it's, it's starting to go away, but I put my cap back on. I got a little bit left in my bottle, and as soon as I pull that cap off, I get that strong skunky scent again. But you know, it, it is it really a skunky smell, or is it just, or is it just the beer itself? Yeah. And this is the one, one of the few beers that I will not buy a single of or six pack of. I have to come in a, in a case, uh, twelve pack or eighteen pack. Why? Why? Why is that? Because the light affects it so easily. Oh yeah. I found that this beer gets skunked much easier than like a Miller High Life or something. I'm talking about personal preference when you, if you buy it. Well, the High Life uses Miller beers use the well, not all Miller beers, but High Life uses those light sensitive hops, which are they were uh, bio engineered, so to speak, to not be affected by um, by light. So that's why you wouldn't get a High Life that would be skunked. Now, uh, Nate K. What about you? What are you picking up? You got a, a familiar bottle too, right? Yep. So no skunk. <laughs> it's awesome, actually. Um, it's got a kind of mellow, kind of almost sweet smell to it. I'm not sure that I would say a corn smell, but um, there's definitely some sort of sweet smell. I, I almost thought um, when when you guys were pulling out the lime earlier um, that it almost it almost smelled like a fruity kind of smell. See, in in my opinion. I think, Rudy. in my opinion, what I think is I think the adjunct of the corn is what everybody's smelling as a skunk because I think in the back end you can taste the corn off the beer. Yeah. And I wonder sometimes everybody says it's skunky. Yeah, it, I mean, is it or is it not? But I think you're, you're tasting the corn, not the skunk. You could be right. Now let's go into the flavor. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Um, 
I will cheers everybody. I will start off and and explain that uh, what literally after what John Sharon was just saying, because I'm not getting a skunky flavor. I'm getting a pretty clean water and sweet and some sweetness and some light barley malt. But just like John was saying at the end there, I am getting a pretty good amount of the corn adjunct in the in the back of the taste towards the finish. So, Eric, you got no skunk, of course, because you had the brown bottle, but you're getting a little bit of adjunct, but you're saying it's not overwhelming? No, it, no. The ad, it, it, Basically, what you get is sort of an adjunct with the corn and a sweetness in a light, very light barley malt. But I think, in general, Corona is very just light and, light and watery in its flavor. Tanya? Have you had everybody, every, hold on, I'm sorry to interrupt. Everybody's had Corona Extra before, huh? Oh, sure, yeah. Okay. I remember. Oh, Back to Tanya, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, that's okay. Um, I'm getting um, definitely a, a pretty standard lager flavor. Um, I think it finishes with a sweetness, which I'm assuming is that corn. Um, but it's pretty pretty balanced, um, and the bitterness that I've come to expect out of a lager, I'm not really getting out of this particular beer. So, yeah, definitely sweet. Okay. Oh, sweet. Paul? Yeah, I mean, I agree with everything everybody said. Um, I do I do taste a little bit of a, given my palate's not the best right now, but I do get a little bit of, uh, like a citrusy kind of a flavor or something. Yeah. I think I'm getting that too, but it's so slight, you know. You almost... Okay, now uh, anybody else want to tell us about? Um, this is super, super, super carbonation in this beer. Super yeah. carbonation. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Jay. It, uh, everybody, it's it's light in its taste. It's got a slight metallic taste to me. The uh, the sweetness to me comes from the citra of barley. Um, I know this beer is made with corn syrup, so that's not going to affect the taste. Uh, it's very basic, very light-bodied, and, and it is refreshing. Yeah. It doesn't really surprise... The way that this beer drinks, it doesn't really surprise me that America finally decided to start importing it in the 80s. It, it fits 100% with the light beer drinking kind of a crowd and the Budweiser drinking kind of a crowd. Exactly. Did anybody grab a wine? It's the number one imported beer in the U.S. It used to be Heineken, but now Corona Extra is America's number one imported beer. And uh, one of the top, I think it's one of the top five beers in America. I mean, it's a huge beer. And, uh, you know, they sponsor so much stuff like all the boxing matches. And uh, I saw a college basketball game last night. The Jimmy V Classic is sponsored by Corona. Yeah. So. Corona and Tecate got a lot to do with the boxing in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, that's true. I see a lot of Corona uh, sponsors yep. for boxing, and I think that's smart for them to do that. Um, what do y'all pick up on the body and the finish? I find it's pretty light body, but it does have body. You know, it's not just total water. Um, crisp, pretty crisp finish to me. That's probably the most interesting part about it. Is, uh, it, it is a little bit lighter, but it's got a lot of flavor for for you know a light beer. Here. Yeah. I agree with that. There's definitely nothing wrong with buying a 32 ounce bottle and not having and having an issue dr being able to drink the bottle. It is super, super, super drinkable. Nothing wrong with its drinkability, and it's super refreshing and smooth. And you know, it's got, oh, I'm sorry. It's got the same body as Miller High Life. Like me and my friend right here with talking about that. It's yeah, virtually the same like in our opinion. I think it has a little bit more body. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Isn't it it's the same alcohol, right? Uh, it's a tick lower. High Life is 4.7, but, you know, it's a... You're six. right. You're right. Excuse me. It, it's, got, it's, got a, it's got a lot more corn flavor to it and, and an adjunct flavor to it than the Miller High Life's got. I agree 100%. I'm not too sure about that. Huh. John? With you. John? Since yes. We just, 
since we disagree, I don't think I'll be able to talk to you anymore. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll because, talk to you tomorrow, then. Well, <laughs> because when you disagree on beer, you can't, you know, really be personal friends with my own thing. Um, yeah, you got to be enemies. It's one way or the other. Uh, no, but um. Well, I mean, if you, don't, if you don't understand the actual fact of the beer, I don't know how you can uh, go forward. Yeah. But 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 here's here's what I don't understand is that I'm going I'm going off the the. the Two enemies that I think the rate beer and the beer advocate. How can how can rate beer give it an overall of one and a style of ten? Beer advocate give it fifty six to forty eight. I mean that's how how can you judge a beer off that? A one. A one. A one. This is a one. Not, uh, yeah. no. This is not a one out of one hundred. That's ridiculous. Um, no, it's not. The whole site's ridiculous. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done going on that website. What? Beer advocate. Great beer. Great beer. Beer advocate gives it a fifty-six and a forty-eight. So they're giving it a little bit I better. Think, I think sometimes that people are reading the beer or not they like it, and not necessarily on whether or not it's appropriate for the style. And so people who don't like a lager are going to drink this and say it's crap. Um, when in mm -hmm. fact, it's, it's I, I, agree. I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. So it, 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 it nails the it nails the example of uh, an American lager. So uh, in that respect, it does very well. Whether or not you like it really doesn't have to do with it. That's a different story altogether. Yeah. So, like Tanya like you're saying, a lot of people they have this inability to rate beers according to style. Like, why is that so hard? It's not that hard of a concept. I think a beer like Corona and, and like a lot of other adjunct lagers and light lagers, even if we are pretty much people that would prefer the craftier side of beer, these beers do have their place, they have their place in the world. When you're watching a sporting event, when you're chowing down on burritos and tacos, you got chicken wings, you want something light and refreshing and easy to drink that's going to clean the palate. And this beer, I got no problem opening during the Super Bowl with some wings at all. I'll make a couple no. points to what Tanya said, if you don't mind. No. I agree with her totally. I think these are people who don't like the styles, who are rating beers in that style, which is silly. Like, I don't like smoked beers. I'm not going to rate a smoked beer. I know I'm not going to like it. It doesn't even make any sense. Number two. Yeah. Number two, Corona. I did look it up. It's number five in the United States. One point two billion in sales, just behind Miller Lite. Woo! That's, that's incredible. Here's Corona. That's 2013, by the way. No, that's not true. Right, because 2014 is nothing. Yeah. So it's like uh, this beer. It, there's only one other beer that causes so much anger in the beer world, and that's Budweiser. People, literally, it's like a vampire with a, a crucifix. If you show them Corona extra, they seize up. <gasps> ah, ah. Mm -hmm. They go berserk. They, they set their houses on fire. They jump off bridges. They go berserk. I mean, uh, I have drank this beer since 1996. I, I don't think it's bad. I didn't drink it. It's living together. Mass hysteria. Yeah. It's like, what? I think the big question... I think the big question when it comes to Corona, now that you mentioned Budweiser, and I think the answer to it is, is is, th is there really a, a reason why one would buy Corona over Budweiser if, if those are the two options at a beer store? And I think that I would rather choose Budweiser because it's definitely cheaper and you're getting just a little bit extra alcohol out of that beer. And it's virtually similar to this beer. Uh, but you know, Budweiser you know, a little more than that. I don't know, Eric. If 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 I'm gonna sit down and eat a bunch of hot wings, I'm gonna choose a Bud or a Bud Light. If I'm gonna eat a bunch of tacos and a bunch of Mexican finger food, I'm going for a Corona. It's the state of mind sometimes. It's the state it's of mind of what it is. Like, exactly right. Nice. Do you all feel like it's a hot weather beer? It also has an awesome little label, so deal with that. Yeah, beach beer. Yeah, beach beer. Beach beer. Absolutely. I like that. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you, you drop a lime in there, and it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, check oh, it out. Check oh. it out. <laughs> put it desk, guys. I'll put a lot of that, that, that oh, really caused himself to be totally excluded from 
the beer drinking community. Now, uh, <laughs> You're banned. <laughs> but Eric, I'm gonna put an orange in there to really screw him up. <laughs> yeah. Put a lemon in it and see what happens. Oh, hey, you, I want to. Hey, Jay, you mentioned Budweiser. This number, the number three beer in the United States in 2013. Bud Light's number one. The two beers combined, Bud and Bud Light, eight billion in sales in 2013. Good lordy. I don't know how people drink that trash. I mean, it's I've, I've had beer connoisseurs tell me, or beer snobs tell me, Budweiser is objectively bad. In other words, whatever that means. In other words, it's bad on its face. You can't like it. They were telling me. I said, oh, okay. But um, here's what I like. I like these people that just dog it up. I mean, talk trash about Bud Light, Budweiser, Miller, Miller Light. But then you'll see them post a picture on Facebook in some sporting event, and they're holding a Bud Light. Well, if that's all I can get, then I'll buy it, right? This yeah. is true. I've been in that situation where I was like, damn, all I can get is a Bud Light. All right, I'll drink it. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, I'm not a big Bud Light fan either. Um, Especially if you, want, if you go out and you want a draft beer, you almost, it's almost impossible at a lot of places to get anything other than Bud Light. Or go to a stadium or, or, or sports town that right. has good craft beer. Like if you go to Fenway Park, you can get, you can get um, the Long Trail Ale. I know you can get a Wachusett pale, a Wachusett India pale ale called Green Monster. So they try a little bit in the beer towns. That's when you go to a sporting event. They Eric, let me say something here, and y'all can all comment too. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say something that's gonna wreck me here pretty much, but um, I have to be already honest. been wrecked. I think it's important to be honest. Go sure. up. You should be honest, John, and everybody. Now, you said. Honest. Honesty is the best policy. Okay. <laughs> right. That's, that's right. And you, John said, Eric said that um, he said, uh, I believe we all here prefer craft beer over these mass produced beer. But I cannot really say that. You know, I was thinking about that when you mentioned it. I'm thinking to myself, do I really prefer it? I don't know if I prefer it. I like both of them, but I can't really say I prefer it. Uh, um, Tanya dropped off accidentally. Um, sure, uh, sure. That's uh, I have no. I have no problem. Probably want to get away from you. If I had a problem with that statement, I wouldn't have bought 32 ounces of Corona. Yeah, I'm so. not sure. I prefer it. I like craft beer as evidenced by me drinking it every day of my life. But um, I, I don't know if I prefer it. Now that's going to cause a lot of people to never talk to me again or whatever, which to right. me is childish. But um, I just, I mean. Like last night, I drank, Go ahead. last night I drank that Miller High Life Light, and I was thinking to myself while I was watching the basketball games, I said, I don't know, do I really, <clears throat> I know I'm supposed to hate it, but um, I'm kind of enjoying it, which is, I know it's wrong, but I am enjoying it. I but mean, anyway. I think that's all that really matters, I mean, you hit, you hit the nail on the head, that's all that really matters, if you enjoy it, awesome. If somebody else doesn't enjoy it, well, that just means there's more on the shelf for you to buy if you want. Right, and I've done some videos. You know, I did some solo videos of um, – oh, Tanya's having trouble connecting, but you know how that goes. And I just – I did – because it's – look, I'm showing here she's joining, leaving, joining, leaving. So, But anyway, right. I, did some, I did some solo reviews, and um, what I said on this Corona Extra was this was a beer I used to enjoy before I found out that I wasn't supposed to like it. You know? Well – you know I mean? Jeff, Preston, Jeff Preston knows what I'm talking about. Like, I like the beer, but I didn't know I wasn't supposed to like it. Yeah, and then it's all of a sudden you get a lot of backlash, and you don't even know where it's coming from. Right, and like beer yeah. experts, beer experts say, Jay, let's sit down and have a little talk. And they say, <laughs> you know, we're very concerned. You know, you. Jay, you're not going to be well respected in the beer drinking community if you continue endlessly to drink these. Mass produce. Uh oh. Well, 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 well. Another child joins us tonight. Well, we got a lot of children sitting there. <laughs> hey, but, but you know what? You know they can say what they want. Is there really thing as a beer expert? Just ask. I never claimed to be. An We've all drank enough beer. But you know, right. I mean, it takes. You know. It, it may take it may take me two or three Miller lights to get to where I get started in my yard. 
I'm not going to quit halfway <laughs> through and get a hung dog beer. Yeah, brother. Right. Think of it like this. Think of it like on the food side. Just because you like a filet mignon doesn't mean you can't like you know a Five Guys burgers and fries. That's exactly Amen. right. But if you like a Five Guys burgers and fries, it's because you're an idiot. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't that what the connoisseurs would tell us? I love it, anyways. I had one last night. Good. <laughs> I, and, uh, but I, I mean. Just, just because we, just because one day we may be doing holiday beers, we may be bringing a fancier beer to the table, and then we drink a Corona the next week. That doesn't That means nothing to the point of of we hate anybody that drinks Bud Light. We hate anybody that drinks St. Bernardus App 12. No, no, no. We like it all. So therefore, we're able to talk about all kinds of styles and communicate very well about them and find things to say about them that aren't just in a negative fashion all the time. But if a beer is bad, we don't have a problem telling you a beer is bad. Right, right. We could do some bad beers. Now, I'm drinking this Corona Extra. I'm enjoying it. Okay, I make no apologies for that. I mean, ho okay. I'd like to do Carta Blanca. I'd like to do a whole line of Mexican beers. I know John loves doing that kind of stuff. Awesome. And I guess all y'all do. I guess all y'all do. <laughs> Just think of all the ones we could look at. Tecate, Dos Equis, Dos Equis. I know, I know everyone on here would love to do Steel Reserve. Woo! I'll, I'll go to Walmart. Right I'll go yeah, tonight. I still a headache from that. I'll go tonight to Walmart and get his 388 to six-pack for Wait, here is the 6%. Yeah, we got the 6%. I get the much manlier 8%. 8.1. 8 oh, yeah, that's what Paul gets in Tejas. Hey, uh, uh, who do we have here, Paul? This is Sophie. Say hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hey, Sophie. <laughs> hi, Sophie. He said hi, Sophie. That's hilarious. Hey, hey, but you know what? I'm the one that stood in line for seven and a half hours to buy six InBev beers in Chicago a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so that's yeah. how goofy I am. Mine are coming shortly. Bourbon County Stout. Bourbon County. Well, uh, Tanya, what's your overall opinion of Corona? Yeah. I think it's really drinkable. Um, and when it's a real hot day, you don't want a head beer. This is a great option to go to. And when you stick a lime in it, it's even more refreshing. Um, so I enjoy it a lot. It, it used to be my go-to summer. Oh, okay. And uh, so you find it fits the style as far as the uh, BJCP, though, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I've been I've been following along as we were reading or as we were going. So yeah. Good. Anybody else? My opinion is I like it. I got no issue with it. I drink it sometimes. You know. Exactly. Yeah. For some reason, for some That's reason, if I'm going to a local concert with some local artists and bands, or if I'm actually going and playing a show, I may be considered rebellious. But I'll buy. I'll get a Corona. I'll stick a lime in it, and that gets me. Um, the wrong way of hydrated, but it keeps me nice and refreshed and relaxed before I play a show or when I'm going to a show. It's nice to do that. It's kind of like I'm having a night out and I want something a little bit different from Budweiser. Oh my God. Different God. Different. I'm sorry. Yes. And I like it. Now, some of our, you know, some of our good buddies might call this a crap here. I don't know. Everybody's coming out. Some of your buddies will do what? I'm sorry. I said some of our good buddies, John. Oh, uh, John knows what I'm talking about. They might call this a crap beer, but you know, I don't think it's a crap beer. You know, they each their own. Right. I mean, you think it's, it's a crap like it, drink it. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch anything. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, like, you know what? If you like it, drink it. Now they got two children. In the video. Um, they got three children in the video. We got all kind of children in the video. No. <laughs> Don't drink beer, children. <laughs> Hello, children. Somebody. Yeah, we got children, and we got babies, we got little kids. Uh, 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 beer, children. Uh, beer, children. I, like, I like it a lot. I give it a solid B, B plus. Solid B or B plus. Excellent. <laughs> right here, right now. Hey, right. Elmo's next. Right. Elmo, everybody. Elmo. <laughs> Now they got dogs in the video. Now they got dogs. I just said Ronald Terrio left the review. 
That must have been caught one of the balls. Because when he shows up, it says Ronald, and and I have nothing to do with Paul's account. I don't know. Maybe he hacked my account. I don't know, John. Corona is good. That is my review. Drink Corona is good. Is Eric's review? Jeff Brista, do you have any final thoughts? And we're going to get everybody's final thoughts. Uh, after that initial opening, where I kind of smelled something funny coming out of there. Uh, after that, I didn't have any complaints. Uh, clean finish. No no foul aftertaste. It's good beer. Excellent. Jonathan Walker. It's good. I don't. I won't. I don't really go out of my. Oh my. I don't really go out of my way to buy it, but I'll drink it if, if it's at a party or somewhere. I'll definitely drink it. So. Cool. Not be. Eight K. All right. So, for a light beer with some extra flavor to it, definitely agreeing with Eric. Drink Corona. It's it's pretty. Pretty what? Pretty good. Gosh, Jared. So carbonated. Mm. Yeah, I, I think overall for the style and what it is, I, th I think it's a, a tremendous beer. I mean, I mean, is it a buy again? Sure, I'm gonna buy it again. Uh, I mean, it's got some adjunct taste to it and some smell to it. But I mean, I'm not a lime guy, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it again. I give it a solid A for the, for the style and overall appearance and, and bing 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 beer. I give it a thumbs up. Double yeah. thumbs up, Eric. Nah. Bing, 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 bing. Nah. Next week, next week, get ready, folks. Next week, we have something to look at that's related to Jimmy Buffett. Can you tell me what it is? Land shark. Cheeseburger. Paradise. Oh. Gosh, I can't find that here. What? You can find it, Nate. You can find it. Got it. Are you telling me you can't get land shark lager? Does I have everybody... not been able to find it out here. I drank it when I was on vacation in uh, Florida or Alabama, and um, I thought it was great. And uh, I haven't been able to find it very often out here, so I have to search for that. Does okay. everybody know who makes Land Shark? Yes. And Heist of Bush. Correct. No. In Bev. <laughs> oh! Now, 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 now Tanya, Florida. And I'm going to say this for everybody. This applies to everybody on Earth. If you're having trouble finding a beer, what you want to do is you call your distributor. You call who in your town is your local Anheuser Busch distributor. They will tell you what stores carry it. I'm telling you, I've done that so many times. They will tell me what store has the beer, and in fact, they'll tell you what size bottle or can it's in. Yep. They're, they are a great resource. I have used them before. Yeah, I would call the local Anheuser-Busch distributor, and they will definitely tell you. And, you, and sometimes you'd be shocked, like it would be right down the street and never realize that. They found me King Cobra in the 40. Yeah, you, that's how you found the King Cobra, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, so uh, um, we're looking at Land Shark Lager, which was sort of a mimic of uh, Corona Extra. And it was developed in conjunction with Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville uh, restaurant chain, restaurant nice. chain. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining. It's been about 30 minutes. We better stop boring the world to death. So, um, thank you for watching this video production. The Coors Light sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like your Miller Light glass, Eric. It says. Uh,